I am Dr. R.K. Jain, practicing as a physician in Dehradun. Welcome to my life page. And today I will be talking about my specialty, which is uh, uh, internal medicine, from which the general physician is my practicing specialty. But before going into the details, I would like to introduce myself. I was born in Chakrata and brought up over there. My primary education was there. Then I passed intermediate from Dehradun and then went to the medical college in Agra. Agra Medical College, there I did my studies. I graduated in medical sciences, which we know as MBBS. And then after MBBS, I took a post graduation also as MD in general medicine. MD in medicine means they are not concerned about the surgery. Surgical branch is different and medicine branch is concerned with treating the diseases without any major surgery. Minor surgery, of course, anybody can do, but not a major surgical field are not involved in the general physician or internal medicine field, which I am specializing. Then I started working in Dehradun immediately after doing my post-graduation in medicine from Agra Medical College. I came back to Dehradun and here I established a practice. Uh, for 10 years, it was an OPD practice. Then I opened a small nursing home called Jan Hospital over here, which I think was the first medical nursing home in the area. I established a dialysis unit, which was the first dialysis unit in whole of the uh, Western Europe, uh, where patient comes to us and uh, we diagnose their ailments and treat them without surgery. General medicine means that you have not opted to go for surgery, surgical options. So general medicine especially deals with the disease of the brain, disease of the heart, disease of the lungs, disease of the gastrointestinal system, disease of the uh, kidneys. Forensic medicine is part of it. Again, pathology is a part of it. Then Medicine is a part of it. Uh, once you, uh, you are in the medical college, you know the basic, in anatomy, you know the basic structure of the body. In physiology, you weigh the functional structure of the body, say respiratory system and all that. Once you know the basic things and you know what is the normal, then you go to the abnormal. Once you are in this profession, be sure that uh, this is one profession which is respected by masses and classes both, right from a labor class to the highest officer of the state. But my advice is that you should be compassionate. You should have empathy to their sufferings and just show these two qualities in you. The 50% of the disease is gone. Once you start the practice, then uh, uh, whether in private practice or whether in government service or whether in a multi-specialty hospital, uh, you get a reasonable uh, good earnings and you can live happily. Uh, I think money should not be a problem if you are a good worker. Then after that, the medicine. Of course, in India, in my country, the medicines are quite cheap. But if, suppose you go to Europe and America, the cost of the treatment is, I think, 20 times, 25 times or even more than that. But here also, because of our low economic situation, whatsoever cost is incurred of the treatment is high for the patient. I, and we think that it is high. But the cost of the medicines, cost of the investigations, cost of the infrastructure, that consumes almost 80 to 85 percent of the patient's expenditure. I would say that uh, this profession it is still the most respected profession. There, our in our country, there is a lot of deficiency of the doctors. Do join this profession, but if you just want to make money, money, money then this is not the profession for you. Money flows, but you should be compassionate to the society and uh, you should have empathy to society. If you should have a feeling towards those who are suffering. If you have all these things, then join this profession and this profession is 
it will give you a lot of things which uh, I have not never imagined that I will get these things and you will also be in the same path. So, do and join medical profession and be a physician or a super specialist. Thank you.